This is the Iowa Weather Report for Wednesday, May 7th, 2014. Now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. At 1 p.m. this afternoon, we have a trough digging in across the Four Corners region. Ridge pumping up over the southeast. Southwesterly flow aloft. That's going to bring warm temperatures into the state. And that's going to bring readings well into the 80s and maybe some low 90s across the state. GFS is a little bit over rambunctious with a bit of precipitation. Any precipitation is likely going to remain just to the north of the state. And you can see here with the severe weather risk, the slight risk of severe weather for today and tonight across the far northern counties of the state into Minnesota, Wisconsin, back through South Dakota, Nebraska, and also across Kansas, South Central Kansas, into Oklahoma and Texas. But then when we go into Thursday, the low pressure center just west of Sioux City, cold front dragging down into Oklahoma or Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas, and we could see some showers and thunderstorms with that, and the Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk of severe weather from Duluth, Wausau, and Rhinelander, south through most of Iowa except the far west, Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Texas. So include areas like Des Moines, Kansas City, Wichita, Tulsa, Oklahoma City, Dallas, Waco, down to San Antonio. But the enhanced risk looks to be from about Des Moines, Ames, Fort Dodge, south through Kansas City, St. Joseph, Missouri, through uh, Topeka to Wichita to maybe Enid, Oklahoma, with even a hatched area further north and east. But then we go into Friday. That system is off to the east. Could see an early day shower in our eastern counties. Otherwise, highs back down into the uh, mid-60s to lower 70s across the state with slowly clearing skies. But then on Saturday, we have another system approaching. And this could bring us some late day showers and storms, especially in our western counties. Highs will still be mainly in the upper 60s to middle 70s across the state. And then on Sunday, it looks to be... Well, the GFS is showing some fairly inactive weather, but you can't really rule out a shower or storm around. Better chances look to be down to our south across Kansas and Missouri and eastward in the Great Lakes. But then Monday, we have more rain again, except for the far northwest. Readings likely still in the 60s to lower 70s at this point as we go into the new work week. And then as we go into Tuesday, that's finally gone. Temperatures will still be in the 60s to lower 70s, with another system approaching from the north and west. And then the frontal system will be off to our southeast. And the next system to our north and west drops in here on a week from today, next Wednesday. And a fairly decent trough would dig in across the western and central Great Lakes. And if this is right, we could see some much cooler air. The 540 line down into the state, if this was two months ago, we'd be talking about snow, but in this case, we're not. We'll be talking about some rain and readings, if this is right, maybe in the 50s or cooler. Going into the extended period on May the 18th, we have a trough axis well to our west, otherwise fairly zonal from the Rockies eastward. And with this pattern, we have a fairly quick moving pattern. We have some showers and storms to our south and west with near seasonal readings likely around 70 give or take a couple of degrees with maybe partly to mostly sunny skies if any storms are around but going into the extended period on the, or going into the end of the forecast on the 22nd we have a bit of a trough moving just across our area and if this is right, we'd have a system moving away from us, taking some showers and thunderstorms with it. Maybe a little bit cooler conditions coming in behind the front. And still seasonal readings for the middle to end of May in the 70s or so. The satellite image from last evening, you see the next storm system approaching from the west. A couple of showers and storms off to our west at the time. You can see the subtropical jet and jet streams swinging up toward us with some tropical air. And the watch warning map from last evening, a lot of that tropical air needs to dump a lot of rain in these areas with red flag warnings from Nebraska through Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Colorado, and New Mexico, where they are just reeling in some wildfire danger. In the QPF chart, precipitation over the next five days, going through Sunday evening at 7 o'clock, showing rainfall amounts around here could be around an inch, give or take. Heaviest looks to be near the Twin Cities, western Nebraska, and across the Gulf Coast and the Mid-South.